guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. It has been a while since I last streamed. My life has been carnage the last couple weeks, bro. I ended up breaking my ribs. You're currently watching Refraction with two broken ribs. It's not too fun to be honest, but I've gotten to the point now where I can catch my breath and kind of talk normally and breathe without it hurting. Laughing's still a bit painful, so you guys are going to have to drop the funny this stream, okay? Just be your normal selves and we'll make it through. It's been an interesting time. But anyways, today we're going to be playing some M6 as all of the alpha changes went live pretty much, except they changed Final Destination armor to not be multiplicative plus 100% damage and made it additive. So it's not as overpowered as it was in the last video, but it's still super, super good. But a big change means that I now have like the drippiest archer setup going. Look how hot this armor is. I love it, brother. We have half Maxor on. I know you can't really tell because all my wither armor boots are black, but we have half Maxor, Necron chest plate, and a diamond head. This archer setup is pretty much exactly the same damage as like three force Necron, except I get to be speedy with it. So it's dope. I look absolutely fire. Honestly, this might be my favorite setup in the game. And unfortunately, I'm one of the only people that can use it. <laughs> Pull still mare. So that's a dub. And uh, see what this is like. The new strat is to now equip our jellyfish, then drink our dungeon potion, and then go over to the golden dragon. Because the jellyfish got a rework now where it makes your dungeon potions 50% better. But that still works if you drink it at the start of the dungeon and then swap to your regular pet. So basically, we get 50% extra potion effects for free. The jellyfish is actually useful for like the first time ever. And if you play healer, it's actually pretty strong. Also, my arrows are not work. I forgot to use my arrow swapper. Ah! Okay, okay. I can actually do something this run now. We're good. We're chilling. We're chill. Are we chilling? We're chilling, right, Shadow Assassin? Yeah, we good. Thank you, my man. Out of here. This is the first time I've tried out this Max or Strat, and it's honestly so hot. Being able to run around at like a nice, comfortable speed with Terminator is sick. Because I don't like having like 500 speed with Terminator. It makes aiming super annoying. But this speed right now is super, super clean. Literally, all I'm using is a G drag, running around half Max or Necron chest plate, and a diamond head. And I am vibing, dude. Also, with the jellyfish pet having that 50% perk on the speed from the dungeon potion is kind of nice. The fact that my damage pretty much hasn't taken a hit whatsoever is sick because while the uh, alpha network was still live i actually tested the max or changes if you don't know it now gets more base crit damage and it gets plus five percent arrow damage i compared it versus necron but the comparison wasn't really fair because I didn't do it properly. My max or was still on necrotic because I couldn't find any precursor gears and I was using perfect sapphire gemstones. Now I'm using perfect jasper gemstones and my max or is on ancient. And honestly, the damage is pretty much identical to Necron in terms of archer. So right now, max or is dominating the scene, dude. It's the best mage setup. It's the best archer setup. Using three force Necron is still more damage than using three force max or for archer, but the speed while clearing is so nice. Like you see my teammates are now all using full Necron while doing the boss fight because that's how they do the most damage. But just for the clear, like Maxor is so good, man. Maxor better than Necron. See, this is where I don't want my words to get twisted. Necron is still better for burrs and it's still better for pure archer damage. But considering the damage you lose from using some Maxor pieces is minimal, it's not really worth swapping to Necron armor like these guys are in the boss fight unless you want to squeeze out as much damage as possible and because these guys are sweat obviously that's what we want to do but yeah i'm really liking it honestly this is actually like the hottest archer setup ever and the sad thing is there's only two people on the entire network that can pull it off actually only one person on the entire network that can pull it off because there's one other person with black max or boots it's the only other pair but he doesn't have a black necron chest plate i'm the only one that can have this fit finally all the money i've wasted on black wither sets is paying off i don't get to use my black storm anymore but at least i get to look like this bro and it's so Hearts. Oh, Snap has Black Maxor boots. Oh, Snap can rock this setup as well. I didn't realize he had Black Maxor boots as well. Damn, my guy's drippy with it. What's my speed, actually? With a Golden Dragon pet, yeah. We still have 400 speed. That's honestly perfect. Dwarf Turtle. 30 million coins for a shellmit? What the frick? Playing dungeons is gonna make me broke. I may as well buy another G-Drag that has a crochet on it. What's going on? Thank you for the one as well, Mr. Kingston. Did I see something return on my island? I did not. I saw something disappear from my island. The code refraction hologram is gone, which infuriates me because obviously code refraction is just the cure to everything. 
but uh no somebody destroyed it and i am irate but you should still definitely use code refraction on store.hypixel.net to make up for it you know the damage you can't blame the maxwell for okay i am playing tank it's maybe not the greatest showcase of maxwell versus necron but trust me there was like a one mil damage difference from using full necron versus necron chest play maxwell pants and maxwell boots on the alpha network and like i said when i was on the alpha my maxwell leggings were necrotic and didn't have perfect jaspers on them so honestly right now they are only very 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 slightly worse than necron which makes them definitely worth using during the clear in my opinion why only right clicks because i realize there's no real point in left clicking with terminator because right click if you spam it still counts the attack speed and you can just hold it down for a more leisurely clear rather than spam clicking with left click and i'm lazy so anything that requires as little clicking as possible is ideal also for the try hards apparently it causes fewer iframes when using the right click ability that you get every three shots so i'll trust the tryhards on that one and uh say that that's the move chat for the iframe thing is it the same with juju no because juju doesn't have an ability basically the thing with terminator is sometimes your left clicks can happen at the same time as your right click ability activates and obviously your right click ability does more damage so you don't want to overwrite that with your left click damage so with juju it doesn't matter because it doesn't have that ability but essentially that's why right clicking is technically better with terminates because if you spam it it still counts your attack speed i nearly dropped my mouse but uh if you just hold it down it won't count your attack speed i like holding it down for clear like i said it's better than just spam clicking 24 7 which is why i've gone to right clicking but against mini bosses and bosses and that spamming right click like you can see the difference and it just looks cleaner i like it a lot thank you for the three as well mr asher hey refraction i bought a custom mouse pad with a picture of you deep throating your mic on it. I don't even want to imagine what that looks like, but I have far too much merchandise of that at the moment. I should start selling it. I have a card with it. I have a t-shirt with it. I don't know what next. The mouse mat. Yep, apparently. Just as long as it doesn't end up on anything too funky, I can live with it. Also, thank you for the one Paradox Timo saying, Refraction, I took a break from Skyblock and I'm now looking at, uh, to get back into Void Glooms. I've heard the meta for T3 and T4 Void Glooms has changed. May you be so client kind to explain it to me? Yeah, Void Glooms are significantly easier now, man. Basically, if you struggle with T3s or T4s before, Final Destination is now goated. It's not the best armor set, but it is insanely good and pretty close to 3 4 Necron and Warden Helm. So just use Final Destination. Make sure you're sneaking. That will activate the full set bonus. But like you literally have to be sneaking the entire time for it to work. Enchants are now viable. Enchants are actually better against boss mobs than One for All is. One for All does more single hit damage, but Enchants are better against bosses. So, especially if you're struggling against them, you can try using a sword with actual enchants and wax siphon or lifesteal on it. And that should make the Void Glooms a lot easier for you. Uh, also, the Katanas now got a huge buff where they do um, even more damage to Endermen than they did before. And they also give you more resistance to Endermen when you hold them. So as long as you equip yourself with a decent Katana and Final Destination, honestly, Void Gloom should be a walk in the park now, man. And I'm so happy with the changes they made because the best setup is still Three Force, Necron, and a Warden Helmet. In fact, you can even go back to using Tux Chestplate, even with the Endstone Sword Nurse now, thanks to how easy they made Void Glooms. They're in such a good spot right now, and they're so fun to do i'm pretty sure judgment call prices have fallen but it's not as op as it was on the alpha network so i'm happy with the changes personally is baby yeti still good baby yeti is still good yes legendary baby yeti is obviously now more worth using thanks to the extra 25 percent conversion into defense it's worse than before but it is still good like i'm using it in boss fight as a tank tanking everyone's damage in half max or necron chest plate and a diamond head so yeah baby yeti hasn't been dunked on too hard especially for like stronger players because obviously stronger players will have more strength and therefore have more of it converted into defense but right now i'm using a baby yeti and i have 6.2 million effective hp so yeah it's still pretty good <laughs> when chimera atom split i want to put chimera on my atom split but there's no chimera books on the auction house well there are a couple but they're super overpriced and it's not enough to make chimera five so we gotta wait till the next mythological event from daddy diana but for once chimera has actually been redeemed so you better 
that I'm putting it on my atom split, okay? Why is this setup cursed? Because using max sword doesn't feel right, man. This is like the floor seven speed setup. Why am I using it in master mode for Archer? And why is it working? It shouldn't work, but it does. And it works ever so well. Should I put enchants on my Vorpal Katana or one for all? And what alt enchant can replace one for all? Enchants on Katanas are 100% the way. Like I said, it's less single hit damage, but considering the Katanas, you pretty much only use them for the bosses, right? They are going to be better in the long term 100% of the time. So definitely put enchants on your katanas. Even if they're not T7, T6s are really affordable. And even not just put T5s on at least by like Ender Slayer 6 or something like that. That is 100% worth doing. The ultimate enchant I would say is best is Swarm. It's the only one that will pretty much trigger every single hit on the boss fight. Nothing else is really worth using, except maybe ultimate wise as a budget option if you can't afford Swarm. Ultimate wise wouldn't actually be that bad. Obviously, Chimera is like the number one, but it's not like I can just go out there and recommend like a 1 billion coin enchant to everybody. So wait, what? My solver is lying to me. That means I got to use my brain red and black. Oh my God. We used that brain and we did it in one flick, dude. Who even needs solvers? All right, let's go do the sick route in here. I'm going to pull it off. I believe I can barely remember it, but we're going to do it. Which one of these do I TP onto? I feel like it's this one. I chose the right one. Let's go, dude. We grab this bat. Then we bust it back. We fall through the floor. We grab this. And I believe it's this fence here. We AOTV onto this. Dig into this. And boom. That route is so clean for super tall, bro. I just accidentally put chili in my eyes. Don't worry, man. There's worse places it can go. I once had like a chili hot dog kind of thing. And after I was finished, I went to the bathroom without washing my hands first. Suffering. I'm kind of mad at the moment, to be honest, because all of my wither armor is G7 P7. Except my gold ore, maybe? No, I did G7 P7 my gold ore. Except now, because I made my max or leggings ancient so I could use them for master mode. But obviously, I still want to be able to use max or leggings for floor 7 as well. And I can't be bothered to change the reforge and the gemstones 24-7. So in typical me fashion, I did buy another pair of max or leggings, but they're only G6 P6. But it's floor 7. They don't need to be G7 P7. But oh, they should be G7 P7. I don't know. If I'm buying those bucks, it's for the new nether sets. That's my justification. You will see it on every new nether set. Well, maybe not everyone, but you will see it on the nether sets. Okay, just ignore my little mishaps for the time being. Also, G7 P7 should get quite a bit cheaper now that they've made the rare drops from experiment tables a lot more common. So if we just wait a couple weeks, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. Why am I doing dungeons? Because Death Streaks and Eel Man are both going for class average 50. So I figured I'd help some brothers out. Since they helped me out so much on my cata grind, it's only fair if your boy can show up and uh, help them out when they're going for their grind too. Personally, I'm, I mean, it'd be nice to get A class to level 50. I'd certainly like to get Buzz level 50. 50. I don't care so much for class average level 50. We might go for that if and when M7 comes out because obviously the XP will be nicer so it'll take less time and I'll want to play M7. Like I love floor 7 and I love master mode. Combine the two. I'll be playing that plenty and I'm sure I'll eventually hit class average 50 but I'm not like going for it. I'm just helping the boys out you know. Seven 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 seven. I love the number seven. I literally have this number tattooed on my body forever, but I think streaming has ruined it for me. Oh god. What cata do you need to be to use this setup? Any cata, brother. Maxor actually got a pretty huge buff with the latest balance patch, and it has a ton more crit damage, and now each piece gives you plus five percent arrow damage. So yeah, your cata levels are relevant to this setup, really. And it can give you a setup for both archer in master mode and mage in regular dungeons which is sick if you go to the effort of buying reforged stones and constantly changing between necrotic and ancient which i suppose would be cheaper than buying multiple different wither sets yeah you could have one wither set for all your dungeon needs which is just dope is he giving me like the infinity stones of jerry pet Get out of here, my man. Asking Death Streaks for downtime is like asking the teacher if you can use the bathroom. It is terrifying. And I asked Death Streaks for downtime for this? I'll never be forgiven. T4 Skull is 378k profit? Yeah, nah, we ain't taking that. <laughs> Frick you, Death Streaks, taking my secrets. The state of this lad. Has he taken this, though? Hey. Has he taken this, though? No! Frick you, bro. <laughs> 
At least my army was strippier than his. When I press F5, I just feel validated. Why is this one 878k? It's actually being carried by wisdom. I'm taking it. Screw it. It's the only profit we've had all the stream. Do people use a forehead like a mirror to check themselves out? BTW, how tall is briefing? You might have just shattered my reality because I might have assumed, you know, every time someone's looking at me like, you know, like the classic mirror poses, you know, I just assume they're hitting on me, but... Maybe they were just using my forehead as a mirror, especially on the days where I've waxed. That's peak, man. Everyone in my guild's Discord has been uh, flexing their times at this. They've been going... They've been going silly on the blaze puzzles. I was trying to copy you guys. I just wanted to be cool and fit in. Valiant effort. Thank you, Deathstreaks. <laughs> we can still get S+, plus, right? Oh, no, he won't. But anyways, I think we're going to wrap things up there. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And I will see you all soon. Peace.